away first time. Very good start there by Young Thompson in the pink, but Ferguson McKenzie getting ahead already here. And she's powering away, and so often the sprinters go better in their second race of a session. And that's the case for Sarah Ferguson McKenzie. Three metres, four metres to the good. The battle amongst the Brits is very tight. She wins it by four metres. Ohurugu strength as a 400 metre runner, bring Anna through there to turn the tables. Young Thompson from the heat result. The winning time, 16.54. That's about three, three, three and a half metres quicker than her winning time in the heat from Ferguson McKenzie. I'll tell you what was impressive there, the 100 metre split at 11.13. So the conditions have clearly improved, but Ferguson got away brilliantly, and I thought that Shauna Thompson might suffer after that uh, victory over Christina Horogu, who came in second there. But uh, uh, certainly uh, Ferguson McKenzie, a multi-Olympian, a, a real talent, very, very experienced, and uh, looking very happy with that result at 16.54. Uh, gets away well, comes up very slowly, but by this time the damage is done. It really is. A Horogu on the far side, overtaking uh, Shauna Thompson at this stage. Uh, Ferguson McKenzie absolutely flying here, well away. The world best is 16.1 by Florence Griffiths Joyner. That was in Seoul in 1988 en route to 200. There you go. Horogu second. Thompson third and McConnell in fourth place. Another little look at it. Look at the. It was the sheer acceleration over the first 30 metres that uh, took the life out of the rest. So Ferguson now totally in command. Look how high she's on her toes. Her hips are high. Shoulders relaxed. The relaxation in the face. You can see it even on this shot. The jowls bouncing, and uh, as she approaches the finish, 16:54, 11.13 through 100. My goodness me, I wonder what she's got to say about that.